It is not uncommon for new Exceeds, new Synchros, new extra deck cards to give life to older decks. So Photon Strike Bouncer, Quick Play Negates, M7, Return a Monster on the Field or in Graveyard back to the hand, including your own. Well, how about giving life to a deck that never even really existed? We are playing Spirits with Exceed. Tsukiyomi used to be banned in the TCG. We got Iza, we got Yamato. Let's go. There can only be one winner, and you're looking at it. Let's go. You want to know it's unfair? I want to play League of Legends Wild Rift, but it is not available in my country. There's also a ton of movies and shows on Netflix that they don't allow me to watch. The solution to these problems are solved by NordVPN, a highly reputable service that keeps my real life location a secret. These companies have no right to know where I live, restricting me from their services. To be real though, it's not their fault. They have to follow the law. I could set my location to Indonesia and now I could play Wild Rift. I then set it to Russia because that's the only country where the new Sonic movie is available on Netflix. NordVPN gives me full value of Netflix that I already pay for. If you don't care for video games or Netflix, then what is NordVPN good for? It keeps your browsing and download history completely private. Your internet provider can send you a warning of termination for downloading the wrong thing. Not possible with NordVPN now protecting my privacy. That may or may not have happened to me. Solo the Star Wars movie? Not worth. Help support the channel by trying out NordVPN today using my link in the description below. Big shout out to Stax for doing well at this deck. He reached King of Games and so many people loved it. I saw so many comments. You what mates, nices, hearts, people talking in the comments. So make sure you do that if you really want me to play a deck. This is his version of the deck. I'm playing it a bit differently. Now let's hop into what this deck could do. So the main combo with this deck, we could do turn one, even turn two, is you just need any spirit monster that you could summon. Now all the spirit monsters, they go back to the hand in the end phase. So we're gonna play around that. So if we summon Yaksha, don't worry about what it does, it's a spirit. Now we have Iza. Iza could banish a spirit from the hand to special summon. But before you do that, you're gonna activate level duplication to reveal it to your opponent to give a monster on the field the level of what you revealed. So now the Yaksha is level six. Then we summon the Iza. Six on top of six. Well, rank sixes are great right now. Let's go. Make a turn one Bouncer if you have it. Make a turn one M7 if you don't have a Bouncer. Bouncer's going to be ideal. You could even make a Sword Breaker. You can declare Dragon with Sword Breaker, and then Blue Eyes may struggle to deal with this outside of Alternative White Dragon. Make your turn one Bouncer. Let's go. Now, if you're going second, you're probably going to make an M7. M7, you're going to return a card in the field or in your graveyard back to your hand or back to their hand, and then go in for lethal. Very quickly, what is the expense of this deck? The Dark Dust Spirit is completely optional. I rarely even used it. You could take it out. There's no way to search it. It doesn't have any real synergy with the deck, so you could take it out. It is an ultra rare from a box. You don't need it. You could play more back row. Now, beyond that, looking at this, only the Tsukiyomi is from a box. The other cards are from Card Trader or events. The rest are free or just a rare or a normal, very easily obtainable. Tsukiyomi, also not a super mandatory card. You could just up a Yaksha if you want. Tsukiyomi is just a pretty good card. It does not make or break combos on summon or flip. It will return a monster on the field to face down defense. It used to be banned in the TCG. That's how crazy it was because you could reuse effects and just simply a one card that outs anything. You summon it, put a monster face down, attack over it. Then it goes back to your hand in the end phase, do it again. So that's why they wanted to ban this card. Now, at the three spots open, you could put whatever you want. You want to play Battling Boxer, Veil. You want to put some back row that you have access to. You want to put Karma Cut. Go ahead and do it. I wanted to play Offerings to the Doomed. Because if I want to make big plays to go for game, I want to get popping with Offerings to the Doom. Now, normally, when you pop a monster with Offerings, they have some sort of monster effect. They activate when destroyed in Sense of the Graveyard. So that's where Amino comes into play. Amino says monsters cannot activate their effects. So with Amino on the field, and then you can play Offerings to the Doomed, you're very likely setting up a lethal. Now, how are you setting up lethal with an Amino? 
Well, our two boss monsters, the Iza, which you banish a spirit to special summon, and also it will make it so your spirit monsters, they don't go back to the hand the end phase. You could summon Iza alongside Amino, they're gonna be on the field. So during your opponent's turn, the Amino is going to negate monster effects. Now, if you have a spirit monster in the graveyard, that's when you could summon Yamato. Yamato banished from the grave to summon. Iza banished from the hand to summon. Now, Yamato is actually a spirit itself. It will go back to the hand the end phase, unlike the Iza itself. Yamato, if it destroys a monster by battle, and many people are not going to see this happening, they're not going to see it coming. When you destroy a monster by battle in the damage step, you will destroy a back row card. They can't chain that back row card in most cases. So if they have a set Kanadia and they're saving it, and you attack with the, the Amato, take out their small monster, you're popping their back row, they can't chain. Yaksha on summon and is a 1900 attack monster, which is good about it. It will activate to return a back row card back to the hand. So it's a great way to force out their back row, forcing them to activate it. And then you follow up with an Iza or a Yamato if you could do so. Now, because your monsters go back to your hand in the end phase, if you're not exceeding or you don't have an Iza on the field, which you're not always going to have, I think Kite Roid's pretty good. So when everything goes back to the hand, you have a Kite Roid. It's kind of like Yosin Jews. So Kite Roid is a good card to play, even though Stax wasn't playing it. Stax was playing a ton of traps. So if you have a ton of traps, then go ahead, play whatever you want. You can play this however you want. As for the extra deck, if you're missing any rank sixes, play more rank fours. The extra deck is so fluid in what you could play it. You could play your new Steel Storm Roach, your Abyss Dweller. How are you making a rank four exceed? Well, what you could do is you could turn the sixes to level four. You reveal level four to turn the level six into a four. Then your normal summon level four will make a rank four. Otherwise, I just have the Utopia into Utopia Ray combo. Unfortunately, when you go to make this play, they're going to surrender before you ever actually get to do it. So Konami, if you're listening, please hear me out on this idea. If your opponent surrenders, let them leave the duel. They're out. They're doing whatever they want. They're not going back to Fortnite because you're not forcing them to stay in the duel. But you surrendered against me while you leave the duel. I get to still duel against an NPC or you set their toggle off and they're just AFKing for like 30 to 60 seconds, giving me enough time for that sweet, sweet anime finish. I'm so sick of people surrendering and leaving before I make my big play. Konami, do my idea and everyone wins. And that is the deck, Spirit Exceed. Let's go. Did these just come out in the TCG? Six Samurai, we could get the the Gateway of the Six. That would be insane. What the? Shan's advisor, I don't feel like reading you. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They are new. Okay, then maybe it's not over for Bujin. Because I don't remember seeing them last time I looked. Send another, send one other Bujin from your hand to the grave. It's special summon this card from your hand. You could activate one of these effects. Send a Bujin from your hand to the grave. Add a Bujin with a different name from your grave to your hand. Or you could banish a Bujin from the grave. Send one Bujin with a different name from your deck to the graveyard. That seems pretty good. That seems pretty good. You could tribute this card. Special summon two Bujins with different types from your deck. What? Holy moly, that's another Yamato. What? This literally summons Yamato from... Okay, this breaks the deck. The Galaxy Eyes Photon is a Galaxy Monster, so we just pop it and GG. <laughs> that's it. All right, thank you. Come again. Let's go. Yaksha, banish. We'll keep the Tsukiyomi. Yeah, buddy. Return it. Wow, he's got something activatable. Could he really have a treacherous? What do we do? He's got it still. He's got it. Okay, shoot. Okay, we got to return that one back to the hand next turn. He's got it. Whoa, it's a legacy clash. Not even. <laughs> what? What the heck? Okay, good, good, good. It goes back to my hand, by the way. Wow. What? He could still have treacherous. Don't draw into a monster for lethal. 2,000 attack. What could you even draw into? I don't think there's any other... I don't think there's any monster I could top deck into. 
Level dupe. It's time to scoop. If we M7 could add this back to the hand, but Bouncer might be safer. What are we even playing around? I don't even know what we're playing around. I think we should just M7 and just go in. What do you think? M7 for the YOLO? We yolo it. YOLO! Come back. Here I go. I here I go. Attack. 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 Let's go. <sighs> okay. This is it. This is it. I set a code. I set a code. You're a little tougher than I We did play right into a treacherous. But he's not going to activate early. Good. Yaksha. Yaksha. Fiendish chain. Can I tribute summon? I activate my continuous trash. Oh my Jesus. Wait, we gotta play Gaia. We need gotta play Gaia. What shall I do? I'll <laughs> Yes! Here I go. Got him! I Let's go! Wow! I won't give up. Not until I crush you. I can't stop here. I have to keep improving. Turn one. We are essentially in Onomat Gaga Gogo -Go deck. Yeah! Let's go! Banish. Make it. Exceed it. Turn one bouncer. Let's go. A mono will negate any monster effects on the fields. They cannot be activated. Perfect. Uh. Okay. Uh, no. Let's not go. Let's negate. That's a, how about no? Veer, 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 have no fear. Okay. Watch this. I special summon a monster. Yeah. Burn him. Ending, ending your turn? You end your turn. I end you. Can I end him? We got a YOLO. We got a YOLO. Shoot. We don't want him to summon a cyber style. Proto cybers on the field, so we can't deal damage to him on purpose. We go out of our way to not deal damage. Negate. I don't think so. Burn, now down to 3,000 life, still cannot use Cyber Style. He needs to be at 2,000 or lower. I'm ending my turn. My turn. Okay. Draw. Offerings to the doomed. Let's go. Maybe he would let this attack go through. If he lets this attack go through, then he is through. If this deals damage, we win. What? <laughs> no way. Pop it. Oh, he didn't know. He didn't know that we activated the damage step. No one knows. No one knows what the spirit monsters do. <laughs> yes. 
Damage step pop. He wanted me to deal damage. Then he wanted to pop me afterward, which in any other situation was the ideal play. He did the ideal play against any deck that's not a spirit deck. Because I'm a spirit deck, he didn't know. No one knows. We popped the fool. Let's go. Digital bug web soldier. What the heck? You don't hear the audio of the Keck W? Really? Y'all could hear that, right? Bugs. Sukiyomi. What are you gonna do? Negate my Sukiyomi? This is a once per turn effect. Yeah. I wanted you to do that, you fool. Negated. Now. We're level duping. We are duping. He is scooping. We're gonna banish you to summon you. And then we're going to exceed. Your expectations. We gotta get bouncing. We bouncing up in here. Can he do anything with that exceed on the field? Can I just attack this, whatever this is? I'm not familiar with the deck after I post it on YouTube, so I'm just gonna take out this one. I think this is just useless, right? He can't even rank this up into something useful. Banned in the TCG, it used to be banned. And your turn. Offering to the Doomed, perfect. Offering to the Doomed with the Amino is insane. I don't know what you do, but I'm swinging into you. Okay, uh, maybe he wanted me to deal damage to him to activate his effect. Maybe he's got a draw, there you go, draw since high level. He wanted me to do that. We played right into it. Each time you lose 1,000 damage, you could search for a level five or higher randomly. Randomly add a level five or higher. What? What? Leva freaking near? That's a negate. Holy moly. Wow, Leva near. Wait, you weren't even popping. You were special summoning from the graveyard. What? Why do you want a special summon from the grave? That's weird, boy. What would have happened if I allowed it? Get out of here. Skip our draw, Keck W. We're just gonna clear out the set monster, whatever it is. Nope, no effect, we coo. What would that have done? You would have special summon, then what? I guess it's good if you have, if it's the only monster. You mono. I'm in no. I'm in no. Let's go. This is not lethal if he deals something to the bouncer, so we're just going to do this. Let's yak. Oh, my windstorm. What? Come back to my hand. Can you rank this up to be bigger than 2,000 defense? It's not good. Oh, my bug signal. That's exactly what he needed. Holy moly. Digital Corbage. You can detach two to pop the foo. Sukiyomi, I flip you down, then you're done? You're done? What do you even do? I don't even know what you do. I'm just gonna flip you down. Banned in the TCG. Flip the fool face down. Let's go. Come forth, Kami. What do you look like? Huge. Yeah, buddy. He looks exactly like that guy that Gia likes the whole game about, Akuma's Wrath. Back to the hand. Well, our monster go back to the hand or we got Kiteroid. 
Let's go. Oh my Jesus. If he has a kite ride of his own, it's a guaranteed negate. Yes. Fool. No. This is a nightmare. I feel as free as the wind. We are free. We are free.